Star Wars Outlaws was revealed over the weekend and it looks incredible. I also got to attend an exclusive deep dive session about the game with some new details thanks to Ubisoft. So we're going to go through all that and the gameplay details today. Let's go. Let me know your thoughts on Star Wars Outlaws in the comments down below. We'll start with some story and just like the general setting for the game. Now, Ubisoft have said that this is a scoundrel story and what that means, I mean, I don't really know. Like, I don't know if that's a verbiage that gets thrown around a lot, but what it seems like based on what they've said and what we've seen about the game is it's a game that's going to be much more realistic in terms of its interpretation of Star Wars. We're not going to see a lot of Jedi, if any, probably, considering that it is set between the events of Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. It's set in that one year gap between those two films. Because of that, you know, there's a lot of civil war between the Rebels and the Empire and the underworld thrives in this time period because of that you know they're all vying for control and the game will take place in the outer rim which is the perfect place for all of the underworld shenanigans that seem to be going on in the deep dive session they talked about how this setting in between these two films really sets the stage for the different underworld gangs and the syndicates to really sort of take control and they're actually going to be three of these gangs there'll be the pikes and the huts which we all know about and the ashika clan which is new and they were created specifically for this game. So through the game, you'll interact with those three different gangs and either build or lose reputation with them. Like we saw a brief snippet of that based on the decisions of Kay in the trailer. She loses some reputation with the Pike Syndicate. So how you choose to complete those missions as well as how you interact with things like even the Empire official that she chooses not to bribe, which will then affect what happens after that event. So they did stress that in the session as well about how those choices will change what's happening and your reputation with the different gangs and whether you choose to be good to the gangs or not good to the gangs. A big thing that was of interest to me is about how this is an open world game. Now, first and foremost, it's an action adventure. It's not strictly like an RPG or anything, but that open world. Now, in the deep dive session, they called it a multi-location open world, and it will take place across the Outer Rim. They said they're focusing on three sort of key pillars. First being the dense, livable cities. Second, some vast, stunning open world environments, and then lucrative, risky space. And space is going to be explorable. So, you'll be able to freely travel from land to space and we did see a tiny little bit of that when she takes off from the planet in the gameplay demo and space will have some gameplay opportunities like dogfights and you'll be able to pilot your ship up there now the ship is called the trailblazer and each area of space depending on what system you're sort of around will have some distinct attributes say like the debris around the moon that we see initially when k takes off from that initial first planet and you can see sort of that debris and like the red sort of hue of that location and apparently each of these space areas will be different depending on the planet that you are revolving. Now that moon that she is on is called Tashara and I'm probably pronouncing these words wrong but that is going to be sort of the main central like hub it seems like one of the big main open world areas there will be others but it's sort of like a savannah-y desert sort of space like with lots of sand that you sort of see in the trailer. The speeder bike that she does use is they're going for sort of a motocross theme with it so you'll be able to perform stunts and jumps and be able to drive it around you'll be able to use it in combat. Apparently Apparently it will also allow you to reach new areas. It sort of makes me think of in Jedi Survivor how you could do that with like the mount. You know, you do like that double jump to be able to jump to like higher locations. Maybe there's ways like off a jump, say you'll be able to like get the motorbike up to like different locations that, you know, you might be able to access, but you can't access it without. So it can be used for some sort of those unique gameplay opportunities as well. I'm interested to see how far they sort of push that and especially in the open world structures. So multi-location open world sounds interesting, but how big are those open worlds, especially if you think that you can take off from the planet and go into space you know if you go to land on the planet can you sort of land anywhere can you only land in like specific towns or something like we there's still some questions to answer there i think as to how that works like i'm not sure that being able to freely take off from land into space is that much of an interesting gameplay mechanic like just personally but i'm more interested in what happens in between those things right like whether you're in space or on the planet like what you're actually doing and, and that sort of thing taking off is cool though like don't get me wrong like it does sound really cool and you know i do enjoy that aspect of like no man's sky but i'm interested to see what's actually happening on those different things like what are you exploring and doing and yeah, we see a little bit of that with you know the mission that k and nix do take on in the gameplay reveal how you know you've got to steal that item which seems to be a central core theme of that sort of mission and structure design is because k is a thief first and foremost and you know, she has all these stealth skills and things and you're really going to be doing those, you know, scoundrelly type things like stealing things and, you know, trying to outwit enemies and, and do that sort of activities. And it's going to be interesting to see 
the complexity in that mission structure and you know is it all just like stealing things maybe some like bounty hunter missions or even the mention of completing a heist you know what is that heist going to be there's still i think a lot of questions that we will have to answer in the future but i do sort of like what we have seen in terms of these locations and the different variety as well as different like cities it seems like we're going to be able to explore so very interested to see more of that in the future combat is a key thing in basically every video game now kay and nicks are the core of the combat system and we even see that in the gameplay trailer how where you've got the left bumper for blaster and right bumper for nick so there's that sort of balance and it seems like you know you you maybe left bumper you could say is sort of like the combat you know more forward focused and the right bumper is more of the stealth sort of tricky things because you know you can use nix in combat and we even see that that you could use nix to say distract the enemies or to press a button even when like open combat breaks out you see that nix is used to actually pick up a blaster and bring that back to her now those weapons that you can set nix to go pick up for you are mentioned to be only like a limited time so you can't actually like keep that blaster rifle forever it's only for say that like specific time like it will eventually run out you won't be able to hold on to that forever the, what you will hold on to forever actually is the blaster itself now the blaster that you do have will have different modes so in most sort of Star Wars stuff, you know, we've seen like there's, you know, this, you set your blasters to stun, like what what have you, but we've seen three different options. So we've seen stun, blaster, with blaster seems like the most typical mode, and focused, which in the trailer is used to take out the shield enemy, which maybe that's sort of a, you know, a slower like charge shot that can like overthrow or like disable like barriers, that sort of a thing that we've seen. It does seem to be based on a cooldown as well, like, you know, like the weapon will overheat and you've got to wait for that bar, that red bar that shows up next to the reticle to reload rather than like an actual ammo which is very star wars like you know there isn't really ammo in star wars so i definitely like how that is put together but those options come together inside like the active sort of combat and then there's also the stealth elements now it's mentioned that k also has gadgets that she can use as well it's just like typical stealthing options and whether you're distracting enemies or just like stealthing around them i'm very interested to see how these areas especially where you're doing stealth like we see in the trailer where k and x you know they press the button to then move like the crate that she climbs on to sort of stealth around like that how many of those scenarios there actually are like what in the environment can be manipulated will there be vents different ways to access these locations like we see in the trailer that the location that k and x are in is a restricted area once the enemies are alerted we see that that does change to red so how that affects the enemies in the area like a little bit of stealth that she gets away and they chase her i'm interested to see a bit more of that like that sort of system and and how that stealth works and the ways that you can interact with those spaces because what's really critical in stealth is the different avenues of how you can interact interact with that area you know can you climb up above things and like jump down take them out with stealth or ways that you can avoid enemies is really important i think and and the complexity in those areas are going to be really important and you know ubisoft have made all those assassin's creed games they absolutely know how to make good stealth encounters and environments so i'm interested to see how that will shake out a couple of other things that we didn't get any more information on in the deep dive session is that there's a blink and you'll miss it moment where you see a workbench like you can use that workbench so whether you're using that for upgrades and what those upgrades are i'd really love to know more of and at the point where k makes the decision not to bribe the empire official and she becomes wanted there is that little mark in the top left corner which looks sort of like a threat meter for the empire i'm interested to see more about that and then also how dynamic that wanted system is right is it only based on decisions you make in say story moments like this or if you just like run around and shoot everyone in the town will that increase you know your empire wanted meter can you even shoot people in the town like what is that structure in terms of that like how do you actually get that wanted meter how do you remove that wanted meter there's a lot of interesting things that i'd like to know more about in terms of those systems overall based on the gameplay reveal as well as my deep dive session i am really looking forward to star wars outlaws i'd love to know more about these systems in the game they seem really unique especially for an ubisoft game having these sort of re reputation and choices and consequence and i really want to know where that goes in terms of a story focus or even just in terms of the gameplay ways that it affects that gameplay you know the wanted system and things like that i really want to know more about it but i am very impressed with what i saw and the different elements of the planets and space there's a lot to go through here and no release date as yet it does seem like it will be 2024 based on what they said in the deep dive session but when that is actually going to be we do not know so i'll have you guys posted once we know more but let me know your thoughts of star wars outlaws in the comments down below thanks guys for watching this video till the end thank you to our members for supporting the channel my name is norza and i hope you have a great day